All right, with example three, we're asked, is the area of a square a linear or nonlinear function of the length of its sides? And to explain. So with the area of a square, we should remember that area, for any rectangle, it's length times width. But with a square, the length and the width are the same. So if we call the length of the side s, then its area equals s squared. So let's say we have, we can't have a length of, of zero. Uh, but let's say we have one, two, three, four, and five units for the lengths of our sides. Well then we would square each one. One squared equals one, two squared equals four, three squared equals nine, four squared equals 16, and five squared equals 25. So if we consider each one of these, let's go ahead and mark these. One, two, three, four, and five. And we'll consider each one of these as five in the vertical direction. So this is units squared, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So at one, the area is one, which is going to be right about here. At two, the area is four, which is going to be right about here. At three, the area is nine, which is going to be right about here. At four, the area is 16 square units, which is going to be right about here. And at five, the area is going to be 25 units squared, which is right about here. And it, you can already tell, tell that there is a curvature in there. It's just going to keep on going up this way. And we can tell from this graph uh, that A equals S squared. We should already know it's not linear because of the way the equation looks. It's not uh, the, anytime you have one of the variables taken to a different power and the other one not taken to anything greater than a degree of one, it's not going to be linear. In this case, it's actually not only nonlinear, but as we'll learn in the next section, it's actually quadratic because the input variable, the independent variable, in this case, the side length is being squared.